I'd been at uh, Imperial College in London for a long time working on uh, rock engineering and uh, this is involved with civil mining and petroleum engineering and when the opportunity came to work at the Lassonde Institute at the University of Toronto which is involved with mining engineering and given the amount of mining engineering that there is in Canada it, it was just simply a, an opportunity that I, I couldn't refuse. For a number of years I've been quite concerned that um, the design methods that we use in rock engineering are, are not very good and, uh, and I often like to say that, that, that if, if, if aeroplanes were designed in the same way that we design, for example, mines and tunnels, nobody would fly anywhere. Um, too much of what we do is empirical, uh, we've got all manners of rules of thumb that have been developed over the years and so I'm trying now to formalise design methods in much the same way as they were used in, say, civil, structural, aeronautical engineering. In particular, trying to develop this whole concept of what's known as limit state design for rock engineering. There is just so much necessity, I believe, for improving the design methods. Uh, it will give us more confidence in the structures that we design. It will improve the economy of the structures that we design, uh, which is critically important for both mining and civil endeavours. Uh, and, and above anything else, it, it will just make these things so much more safe. Um, it, it, and it's quite apart from that, it's a, it's a very, very interesting intellectual challenge as well. If in a few years' time, I get to the situation where people are saying, do you remember that guy with the white hair who used to talk to us about rock engineering? I can't remember his name, but he was a terrific teacher. And you know what? Everything he told us, it's been really useful. If I can do that, then I think I will have succeeded. Uh, in terms of research, um, I suppose most researchers have this idea that in years to come everybody will be using their method around the world. Um, it would be nice to think that that was going to happen, but more than anything else what I would really like is just simply to be able to move the whole business of rock engineering design forwards in some dramatic sense.